like waiting for Christmas morning. Here we are back in Macy's Bay. The reason I'm down here for the video today is because we have a high, high tide, which I think it's close to the king tide. Uh, that reading is around 8.5, 8.6 on the gauge, which is definitely very high. Uh, the water is just switching direction here at the rapids. Won't be long before we start to get some water, some rapids, some nice class three and all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, let's get paddling, get warmed up. Three hours from low tide, you get this right here in front of me, which is completely dead water, totally flat. Just barely starting to come in my direction. Uh, within half hour, you're gonna see rapids for sure. And uh, very quickly gonna grow into some uh, some awesome stuff. Bit of scary stuff right here in front of me. Uh, we got some rope entanglement. Once the water gets up a little higher here, I'll use my knife and cut it out. But that's why we take river knives with us. Decided I'm gonna deal with this rope entanglement from the shore. Uh, get rid of it before I try to muck around with my kayak like I had initially thought. Grab the knife, chop it out. One death trap extracted. It's only been 10 minutes since I last checked in. We're already getting some nice strong current here. Some eddy lines forming. Another 10 or 20 minutes. Probably start to see a wave start to form right here in front of me. Can already start to see it boiling where it's gonna form. Should be some big water today and some passengers. Another 10 minutes on, we're starting to see the seeds planted for some white water moving faster, more powerful, more ripples in the water, more defined eddy lines. The water is starting to talk to us a little bit. Definitely getting some class one stuff all around us. See some white water, waves, sort of breaking, some chop happening. I really do hate putting grades on anything, but I would call this pretty stout class one, maybe class two. Got a wave forming right there in front of us. Rips are probably, you know, a foot at the largest from trough to crest. Yeah, I'd call this a two, class two. Like I said, we got this wave forming in front of us. Let's see if we can't get in that. Water looks fairly calm and innocuous, but it's actually quite powerful. A lot of water coming in for the tide. Yeah, we're gonna see some wild water today for sure. crazy thing about this little tidal basin is sort of behind me here, the tide fills this all up. The water really has nowhere to go. So what ends up happening is you get these crazy eddies, whirlpools, wild water, really a crazy mix of everything. That's why I love this area. It teaches you some skills that are uh, Pretty awesome once you get in the big water. 
and you're not going to get washed down river because it is just a basin. We are sitting at the three and a half hours past the low tide mark. This is for sure where I would consider water very suitable for practicing your eddies, stability, staying upright. Plenty of power in it right now. Excellent spot to hone in your upstream angle and edging. And fly across. Whirlpools and boiling happening along your eddy line make them tricky to cross. You want to make sure you're locked into your boat when you're crossing those squirrely eddy lines. Hitting icebergs. So frigid. Getting a good solid two feet of build here in front of me now. Loads of white water. Lots of breaking waves. Got that nice little standing wave I keep talking about in front of me that keeps building, keeps getting deeper. Definitely getting some dicey stuff now. Got some three plus foot waves, multiple standing, one, two, three, four. Yeah, a little baby on the end, five. Uh, Eddie that I'm in right now is quite powerful. Pushing me out into the abyss. This is the point where if you make an error in your edge, uh, you are not going to get a freebie. You are going to end up swimming. An hour ago, this was basically flat water. And now we have at least four or five foot waves breaking. Up here on the hill, kind of a bird's eye view of what's going on. Got this first standing wave right here. We got another breaking wave there. More little wave train, nice big long wave train all through there. Sort of a downstream tongue, river right of that. And then just on the river right of that downstream tongue. You got all kinds of wild water. You can see whirlpools forming over there. All kinds of boils. Got a big obstruction right here in front of us. It's starting to split the flow of water. We'll have another stream flowing here. We'll have a big eddy right behind that obstruction. Lots of different stuff going on at this uh, park and play spot. Definitely say I'm comfortable calling this class three, class three plus water. Probably have big five foot breaking wave there, a wave train, lots of boily stuff. 
powerful water. I don't know. I don't know what you people think. You call us more than a class three type water. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I love hearing from everybody. Lots more coming your way.